know, I would be disappointed too if it doesn't lead to something good, some resolution. Hope for the best. That's all we can do. All right. What we're going to do today is take you through all of the findings that we've got in the case. All right. If you're ready, we'll go through sort of some of the, the scene and, and what we were looking for initially. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So on reviewing the photographs that we had on the notes, we needed to target areas that we knew the offender would have had to have come into contact with. And the great place to start for this would have been the clothing. We got in a reference profile from your father as well. And the, your father's profile were in this result. We do know that Enrique entered the premises mm -hmm. and after taking off some clothing, went straight to your mother. So it could be him just contacting the front of her jumper and trying to see whether she was still alive. He may have been really crying a lot and salivating mm -hmm. that his DNA has been deposited on her clothing. But the two samples from the cellular on the mm -hmm. clothing give us a bit more of an indication that there was potentially another female. That could be your mother and it could be you. So it would be really good to get a profile from yourself while you're here yeah. later on so that we can then compare you to all these results. Mm -hmm. There is unknown male DNA also in this result, but it's difficult to say whether that's come from the result of the incident or was there before mm -hmm. or even after it. Yeah. We also looked at the rope. Uh, we got quite a complex mix from at least four people to both results. Your mother was there at a significant level, which is not unsurprising given the amount of blood. Your father also couldn't be excluded from those results as well, though. But he went to the body, he may have touched it, instinct to sort of remove something that was around her neck, etc. Yes. We're not sure. The pen, um, we, we got a mixed DNA result from that as well. At least three contributors. Uh, your mother was again in there, but there was no indication of your father to that result at all. So it doesn't look as though he's Touched come into contact mm -hmm. with the pen. So this is the bathroom, which mm -hmm. from the police report, they believe the offender went in here after the incident and cleaned up. But there was one sample from the wall and one sample from underneath the sink that we could take and we were able to submit for DNA profiling. We got a mixed DNA result from at least four contributors. There was at least one male and at least one female. Um, Annie could have contributed. There was no indication of your father though. So the male, but a possible male that has contributed was not your father. So there's potentially- I, It wasn't my father? No. Uh. So in conclusion then, hmm. we've obtained lots of results from all of the clothing that we found from your mother that indicate there were multiple people that may have handled or come in contact with their clothing. And it was our hope that we would get profiles from each of these which would give us a significant contributor mm -hmm. to each. If we had got consistency of this across all of the results, then we would have a degree of confidence that this person was the person that may have moved and adjusted mm -hmm. the clothing. We could have then used that as a comparison to the rest of the items as well to be able to say with confidence yeah. that this was the offender. We haven't got that. They are excellent points of information, but we cannot pick out the profile of an individual no. offender. And it's scientifically, there is no way for me to say whether or not it was a male or a female that conducted the act. Mm -hmm. And in light of uh, well, everything that you, that you know now from all this testing, could you assume that maybe there was more than one person involved? Unfortunately, mm -hmm. no, it's not possible for me to say whether or not there was only one person or whether there was more than one. No, okay. This can still be quite positive though. So there is, we think, DNA from the offender in those results. If we have right. the reference profiles, so one from yourself to obviously yeah. help eliminate things, but also the reference profile from Mina Thompson as well, then we would be okay. able to use mm -hmm. that to compare directly with the complex results that we've got mm -hmm. so that we could say, whether or not she was a contributor or whether or not she could be excluded from all of these results. <laughs> Lastly, with the clothing from the woodland, we would really like this clothing now to test. In my opinion, it was worn at the time of the offence. If we could take samples from these, it would allow us to provide information as to who was wearing this at the time, mm -hmm. and then we could compare that to the crime scene That's itself. Right. Additionally, we could compare that against Mina or any other suspect that we provided mm -hmm. a reference profile as well. 
getting the woodland clothing, it would be the key now, because yeah. I know that that's due for destruction. So to stop that now would be really important, important yes. so that we can actually test this further and do more. Because it's the only thing. Because that... there is more yeah. potential here, definitely.